morning. It's day three of Advent. How's everybody out there? Hopefully doing better than I am. Uh, today I decided, even though I have three meetings, I'm wearing a Christmas shirt. It says, I Crave Christmas from the Colleen Ballinger collection. Um, but I like this shirt. It's also very cozy and very comfy. Um, so let's go ahead and do our tea and our jelly or whatever we get today. First of all, look how cool, as you, again, as you open this calendar, it starts to build a new picture. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and do number three for tea, which is, oh, Belle, you can't have this one. It's peppermint melon. Uh -oh. Um, <laughs> you just heard me. So, so basically Philip is allergic to mint. <laughs> so he will not be trying this tea today, but I will peppermint melon. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, uh, bon Maman calendar. All right, here's our Bon Maman calendar. And number three is all the way down here. Um, so let me just go ahead and pop it. And here's our little, by the way, I didn't realize it had things to say inside. Share the love. Well, I'm gonna share with Phil, hopefully. As long as it doesn't have mint in it. So, there it goes. All right, what do we have today? We have, ooh, that's interesting. Lemon Yuza spread. <laughs> Yuzu spread. I'm sorry. Lemon yuzu spread. Well, I've never had that before, so that'll be interesting. All right. So we've made the toast. Phil, come on in. I have my, I just want to show my, my little Christmas plates. Hey. So this is lemon again. What is it called? Lemon. I don't, is that, is, do you know what that is? Yuzu spread. Yuzu, is that a, some kind of a fruit? I'm going to look that up afterwards. Lemon yuzu spread. I know, but have you ever heard Why of you Have you ever heard of yuzu? No, I have not. You're a zoo. All right, I'll have let's to try. look it up. Let's try. Not a fan of lemon spread. Oh. Mmm. Let's see, I like it. You know how lemon it's makes tart. you pucker? It's tart. That's exactly right. But I like tart marmalades too. I'll try one more so. time. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, <Wow>. for me. <laughs> I don't care for it, but that's what Bill likes it. Yeah, I like it. Mmm. It's almost like it's a very lemon tart. Zest. You, if you like lemon, probably gonna be great for you. I'm gonna take the tea though because you can't have any. All right. Poor Phil. That's a deal. I get, the, I get all the toast. And you don't get an allergic you reaction. Get all the tea. <laughs> it's like you yesterday. Blind. Smell. Hmm. It's definitely peppermint melon though. I don't taste any melon. I don't taste any melon. <laughs> What melon was supposed to be in there? No, it does say. Um, it says green tea with cinnamon, peppermint, and licorice. Where the hell's the melon? <laughs> it's called peppermint melon. Well, there's no melon. <laughs> Scam. <laughs> You've been tricked. <laughs> you know, other people may like this, but it's not bad. I'll probably finish the cup, but I don't see any melon in there. Do you see any melon in there? No, you guys probably can't see. It's too bright. Anyway. All right, see you in a few minutes with the cat toys. Okay, it's time for the advent for the cats. Yes, it's for you. Number three today. Turtle's nowhere to be found. She's probably playing with her green ball. Oh, here, another ball, but this is not like the green one. Oh, how pretty. Look, a little ornament ball. All right, let's see if she'll actually play with it. All right, miss. Look. <gasps> What's that? Now, are you interested or is it just going to be sitting there? Happy Advent, Miss. Happy Advent, Miss. Are you gonna play with it or are you just gonna? Yeah, not a favorite, I guess. But you never know, maybe later we'll see it batted around. Okay, it's Rituals of Advent time. Yeah, this is probably my favorite looking calendar because, you know, wow, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, number three, if I remember correctly, is right here. Yes, number three. Yay. All right. It says a mint Christmas miracle. I guess Phil can't, oh no, not mint. Okay, that's what happens when you get old, guys. A mini Christmas miracle. Find the joy and beauty of unexpected bliss with our new limited edition, Serendipity. This rich foam is infused with magical elixir, ooh, of tensecrated, <laughs> I'm tired, tensecrated oils that leave your skin feeling clean, cleansed and soft. Okay, whatever, let's see what it does. Let's see what it is. It sounds like some kind of obviously cleanser. Fancy bottle. Serendipity, finding something good without looking for it. Oh man, wouldn't that be special? 
opulent foaming, oh, fa foaming shower gel. Ooh, sweet. Like I said yesterday, I always like a shower gel. Foaming though, I've never had a foaming one. So I'll give that a try and I'll tell you how it is. Thank you to the Rituals of Advent, we love it. Hello. So here we are day three with the beauty calendars. Um, again, a reminder, nobody has given us these calendars. We've bought them with our own money. Um, so nothing here is sponsored. It's all uh, my hard earned money uh, buying these calendars. So we'll take a look at those in just a minute. Um, but if anybody's noticed, my hair is a little curly today, not bad, but I wanted to try that hairspray. So I um, curled my hair a little bit and I put that hairspray to keep it kind of in place. And I don't wear hairspray normally, uh, yesterday's hairspray, I, I wanted to try it. So I did, it's not, it's a little crunchy. <laughs> I just don't wear hairspray. I don't like hairspray that much, but hopefully we'll see how long it keeps the curls. Uh, but anyway, today's dad story, if you looked at the picture at the beginning of the video, um, is dad holding a cup there. And to make a long story short, my dad uh, lived with us, not with us in his house, but um, very, like a minute from us um, here in Illinois for uh, about two years before he passed away. He moved here in the end of 2018 and um, because he had some cancer and some other things. So we were, you know, we finally convinced him to move uh, from New York uh, to Illinois so we could be with him because I, again, I didn't mention I'm an only child. Um, but anyway, the story I'm going, why I'm telling you all of this is because when he lived in New York for, well, you know, almost all his life, he grew up actually in Connecticut, but he moved to New York when he was young and he lived in Queens, right? So he was there almost, almost all of the last 30, 40 years. Um, and my dad loved a diner. He was a diner person and there's a diner on Queens Boulevard uh, that was called the flagship diner and that was like my dad's place to go he had other diners he liked but that was like his main place it was right next to where he worked all his life so he used to go there all the time and um he used to have breakfast and even you know without us there he'd go by himself and they all knew him by name um and then of course when he moved to illinois we don't really have that kind of diner we have like family restaurants and they're good but he just he liked a diner well, we took him to Denny's because he liked Denny's. So he, he that was a Denny's that picture was taken. But the cup was just so perfect for him about the diners. So so, uh, so we took that picture. But yeah, so I wanted to just kind of tell that story about my dad. But let's go ahead and uh, open up some beauty advent calendars and let's see what kind of stuff we get today. All right, we'll start with L'Occitane today. Uh, number three is right here. So let's see if we can get it open. Not rip the thing. I almost said yesterday. Oh, here we go. Let's see, a little tube of something. Sometimes these are hard to get out. There we go. All right, today from L'Occitane, we have a nice hand cream for dry skin. That's the perfect time to give me some dry skin hand cream. And when it gets cold in Chicago, yes, we need dry skin hand cream. <laughs> so I'll leave. I know, is this one of those things that have a thing? If not, I'll try it right now because my hands are a little dry. Let's see. Whoop, <laughs> maybe too much. That, you know what? You know, you know when a hand cream is good when you put too much, but it doesn't. You know get all over the place and it's very light oh i like that yes okay so that's a good one we'll keep it oh we're not gonna throw it away but either way l'occitane's dry hand cream okay time to again look fantastic i keep making that joke every single day i want to look fantastic when this is all over so number three is actually down here so we'll go ahead and pick up a little drawer Good to do and wonderful paper again. I bet you there's a silica gel. Oh, no silica gel today. Right, well, that's fine. Oh, fancy. Let's see what we have here. Um, I'll look at this way. <laughs> my hand cream's getting on it. <laughs> Alama, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Alama Squa Hydrating Setting Spray. Oh, you know, for makeup. Okay, fair enough. I, I actually have a setting spray. I don't barely ever use a setting spray because I don't wear that much makeup, to be honest. But, uh, and it's, oh, look at that. Vegan and cruelty-free. We like that because I am a vegetarian. Not that I judge, I don't judge anybody who eats meat, feel, still eats meat. But um, we'll go ahead and give it a try and I'll let you know how that is. That's the Hydra Setting Spray by a name I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Alama Squa. Maybe. Alama Squa. We'll figure it out. All right, Clarence is up next. I marked number three, there it is. The little pocket today, a little pocket. Really, a little, little pocket, what's in there? Ooh, a little, a little round thing. <laughs> Obviously from Clarence. This is blush. Yay, it's our first blush we've received in these uh, collections. And let's, I'm just curious, I'm gonna open it up and see what kind of color it is, hold on. Should've color, as soon as I figure out how to open it, there we go. There we 
go. It's oh, it's it's kind of a neutral, right? A little brown or peachy colored. Um, I don't wear tons of blush, to be honest with you, because uh, when you're working from home and you're Zoom meeting all day, Zoom has a filter. You can look like you're wearing makeup. <laughs> so I tend to use that and keep my skin clean. Uh, but anyway, I will give this blush a try and see how it looks uh, later on or tomorrow. It's time for Kiehl's. I really do. I still think this is one of my favorite boxes. The Ritual Advent Calendar is amazing, but this one's just so damn pretty. Here we go, number three. What did we get from, oops. Oh no, I dumped over six. That's okay. Um, let's see. Sometimes I say things. This one does, oh here, no? Okay, here we go. Super Multi Corrective Cream. Apply evening and night. So another face cream, most likely it's gonna correct me, apparently. I need correction in a lot of different ways. Um, but let's see what it looks like. Little tiny cream. But see, again, this is perfect for me because I like to try things and if I like it, I'll buy it. And if I don't, I don't feel like I wasted a whole bunch. Super multi corrective cream. Um, so well, it actually lifts. I don't know where it's going to lift me, but uh, smooths, boosts, radiance, moisturizes, even. Yeah, we'll try this tonight and before bed and we'll try it tomorrow morning like I did with the other ones. The plumping cream I tried last night and today, and I don't, I, nothing looks plumpier. So. <laughs> I did read it online though. Believe me, I'm doing research on these things to make sure I know what they're supposed to do. And uh, I guess it's supposed to help the fine lines and things in your face not be so um, there. Uh, I'm very lucky, I guess it makes some heavy set, but um, I don't have a lot of fine lines. <laughs> so not yet anyway. All right guys, there's the Kiehl's calendar. And the beautiful Yves Rocher calendar, uh, number three right here. And there's a cat making noise behind me. There she go. There goes Turtle playing with that green ball still. God bless that green ball. It's being very well used from day one of the cat calendar. Okay, what do we have here? The Alliance of Mythical Oil and Flower. Hmm, that oil and flower. Sounds like you're going to bake a cake. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Oh, wait, I gotta look at it because it's shiny and stuff. It's... What the heck is it? It's body lotion. Okay, sorry guys, I just had to, I had to read it. And it's, based, oh, another rose. Isn't that interesting? Very, very interesting. Here, I'll show you again. So it's, it's because the light's a little bright, but um, it's basically a rose body cream. Um, this is interesting. This is the third rose in the third day that I've got with something with rose. Let's see if that becomes a pattern. Maybe my grandparents or my mother, my grandmother, my mom reminded me my grandmother used to wear a perfume called Joy, which had a rose scent. And my Aunt Joyce used to wear a rose scent. They're all passed on now, but maybe they're trying to say hello through roses. Well, we'll see. See if there's any more roses the next time. Okay, time for Glossy Box. And then I have to go to a meeting and then I'll do more in a little bit. But you don't know that because I'm just pairing these together. You think it's all happening at the same time, don't you? <laughs> but it's not. Okay, so I know number three because I did look at it to make sure I didn't waste your time again. And I think I said that every time this week. I'm not going to say it's more. Um, number three is right here. Number three. Very light. Oh, I chose something small, but it's a big box. And some more fuzz for the cats. Ooh. Fuzz for the cats. Okay. I, I'm, just like Amazon, a little tiny thing in a big box. <laughs> oh, look how tiny. That's kind of funny. But I guess I have to make it fit, fit the, the whole scenario here. All right, whoops, what did we get? Oh, there's that, there's that same company, different vendor, Alama Squad. I'm gonna have to look this company up. This is a highlighter and it says, oh my God, OMG, beyond liquid highlighter, excuse me, beyond liquid highlighter. Okay, now here's, the yeah, here's what, when you know when you're old, when you go, okay, what do you put on your face? You put, uh, you wash it, you put foundation, you, Maybe put some blush and some mascara and a little bit of lip gloss or lip liner. I don't wear eyeshadow a ton because, again, no, we're, I'm not going anywhere right now. But, um, you know, things like highlighter and spray fixing things. And <laughs> this is all stuff that I didn't grow up with. So it just makes me laugh a little bit. Like, I don't even know what the hell to do with the highlighter. And, yes, I go on YouTube and I try to look for videos. And I try to do what they tell me to do with the highlighter. And I don't notice any difference in my face. So I will have to try this and see if it works. Um, but there you go. Um, highlighter from La Masqua. Two products from them in two different companies. That's pretty cool. For the record, this is the third time I'm taping the body shop because my phone doesn't stop ringing today because we're really busy at work. <laughs> so I'm going to try this again. Um, so let's go to the body shop. The body shop, the body shop. And here is number three for today. This is as far as I get each time and then the phone rings. Hopefully this time I can actually do something here. Okay, let's read this. 
Write five notes with random compliments and then leave them in unexpected places like train and bus seats or a colleague's desk to share some love. Great sentiment. Um, I don't have a bus or a train near me, so I can't do that. But uh, the only colleague I have right now that has is near me is my husband because he works for the same company. I'll have to put a little note on his desk. Um, let's see what the body shop gave us today. The candy? <laughs> Not candy. Oh, interesting. Pink grapefruit fruit bath bubble. Not so much a bath bomb, but a bath bubble. I love a bath. I wish I had a bigger bathtub. I usually wind up going to a hotel that has a huge bathtub just so I can take a bath. Now, that sounds ridiculous, but um, my bathtubs are small in my house. And the next house I buy, I'm going to have big bathtubs. But in the meantime, I go to a hotel and my husband and I spend the weekend and I take a bath. And I bring one of these with me. Um, anyway, pink grapefruit. That sounds interesting. I'm not a big grapefruit fan but it might be very um, fragrant and maybe it's very clean, who knows. But I, I won't find out because my buff tub's a little small, so unless I go to a hotel, this won't be tried for a while. Next up, Sephora calendar. Number three says cozy. That, that to me right now, I wish I can go back to bed. <laughs> and I have to do, I have to do more meetings. So I can't get cozy until after work and thank God it's Friday, it's Friday. Um, English part please. Hair clips for high style. Oh, great. Hair clips. I don't really wear hair clips. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I will put the hair clip in my hair and show it to you later when I have my wine. I just I've never... Okay, cute. Okay, so this is cute. I don't see me wearing a hair clip personally because I'm, you know, not that older people can't wear a hair clip. I may give it a shot later and I'll let you know. Um, but it's not my normal thing to do. But we'll see. Give it. We'll give it a shot. Hey, it's last one, Christian Dior. Of course, we leave the biggest and the best for last. Um, I'm losing my voice a little bit because I've just done a bunch of meetings and I'm tired of talking. <laughs> but, but this is fun talking, right? Because I'm going to get a present. And that's what I like about this, doing this. What am I going to do after Advent? I'm going to be like all depressed, like I can't open presents every day. Or maybe I actually will. I'll figure a way to do that. Um, anyway, number three is over here. So let me just turn this around. I love this calendar, but it's so big. You got to be careful. I drop it on the floor. It's right here, number three. And yesterday, if you didn't watch, if you didn't look at my um, Instagram for, you know, Jane Elizabeth Speaks, um, I posted that I used the foundation that they gave me yesterday that I thought was too dark for me. And it actually blended really nicely. So, hey, there you go. I, I got a bonus situation. But I, I still say that, I don't know if it's a good idea to have a foundation in one of these because everybody has different skin color. And somebody may have not gotten something that they could use. Anyway, here we are. Oh. Now, okay, this, I believe, yes, I'm positive. This is the Johnny Depp thing. Sauvage is, I believe, a gentleman's scent. Um, doesn't say really on here, but I'm pretty sure if I look it up, it's going to be, oh yeah, men's fragrance. Well, let's just see, is that what it says? All right, yeah. So, the, so I believe this is, let me, let me smell it, because I'm pretty sure this is a cologne for gentlemen. Oh yes, 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 this smells like a good guy that I want to kiss. <laughs> I used to love, when I was young, I used to love, you know, growing up in the 80s, I'll say gently, a lot of the gentlemen wore cologne, and some of them smelled really good. This one smells pretty good, but Phil will not touch this. So, I don't know. If you think your husband will wear a cologne and you want to try it, let me know, and I'll, I'll mail it to you. Because honestly, I, I just, Phil will never, he'll never wear cologne. But anyway, there you go, for the men in the world who, who bought the calendar. All right, it's day three for Phillips. Advent calendar time. So, honey, why don't you go ahead and open up day three? Yep. Starting with the games calendar. Number three is three. right here. A bulb. Another bulb. That's no, kidding. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Are you kidding? I, was, I swear I didn't open it ahead of time. Yeah, but it's red. For Christmas. It's a red bulb. So we'll I have a red bulb to go with my green bulb. Well, so we'll see what happens after this. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what the other calendar is. Okay. Now for the radio. Day number three. Hopefully more than just a battery. Or actually, it wasn't it's even a battery they gave you. A big compartment right here. You have to bring the battery with. <laughs> oh, wow. That, I even know what that is. That's a speaker. Is yep, it? that's a speaker. I know. See, I know some things. All right. Electronics. All right, well, Very nice. we'll see Phil back a little bit, and we'll see how it goes with the electronic calendars. Well, we got that done quickly. All right, so which one are we going to look at first that you finished today? Not finished, but the next step. Yep. 
uh, we're done with the next step of the game. Yeah. And you see now there's the red LED in here, the green one moved, and a few other wires had to get connected. And here's what it does. So you think like, okay, well, what is that? Christmas lights. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a game because when I press the button, it stops on one of the two lights. So yes or no answer. Yes. Or something like that. So, right, so you could say red or green, red or green. Oh, we could. I'll go red. I say, oh. Yep, I got it right. Let me see, green. Oh, I got, got it right. right. <laughs> All right, fair enough, so there's that one. Yep. So it's looking good. Yep. Radio is less exciting. Oh boy. But oh, there goes the battery. Goes the battery. That's, funny. <laughs> That's all right. Radio is less exciting, but still pretty cool. Is that what you now, did yesterday with the little light? Yeah, this is a little bit tricky because I almost need a third hand. Oh, I can't help you. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm connecting the speaker to the battery, but you never connect a speaker directly to the battery. It, it takes some dexterity to get this right. All right, you, you, you got dexterity. Almost got it. This one's wires it. Okay. So I'm actually connecting the battery to the speaker through a light bulb back to the battery, which is limits the current. Otherwise, the battery would smoke the speaker. And okay, then, let's do that and see what happens. No, no let's not. <laughs> and then when I touch it, listen quietly. You can see a little light there, too. That's it. It's making static. And that's just the speaker moving as I give it power. So that's it. You're amazing. All right, guys, dinner, wine, and cheese coming up next. We're actually cooking dinner while we're talking. Well, it's the last part of our evening, and it's the wine and cheese festival. Oh, not festival. <laughs> Feels like one. So we have our Aldi cheese calendar. Now, by the way, for those who watched the beginning of this video with me getting presents um, in the um, advent calendars, this is why I don't wear a barrette. I look like a five-year-old. <laughs> Hi, I got a bread. Um, there's probably a better way to wear it, but it's all I can figure out. Anyway, Advent cheese calendar. Today's day number three, which is mm -hmm. right down there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pick that up. All right, today. This is going to go perfect with our dinner. Gouda. Oh gosh, there you go. Gouda with red pesto. Oh, I was gonna say, we yeah. just had Gouda, but not with red pesto. No, not with red pesto. Right. I'll explain why it's gonna go with dinner in just a minute. Okay. Then we're going to go to our wine calendar for day tres. Mm -hmm. Let's hope for a red. Oh, it's still not a red. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. Three lights in a row. Oh, but it's a rose. Oh, a little yeah. redder. It's got, got a little color. It's a little redder. All right. Rose of San Giovis. All right. Obviously, Italy. All right, you do your job. All right. Open that up. Cheese open, wine open. Um, and then, I actually, while Phil was doing his electronics as per usual, I did the coloring of the advent calendar, which was just a little bit of purple today. But that's how it's coming along. Hooray oh. us. And while Phil's pouring that, oh, I think you open the cheese. I'll break the cheese in half so we can taste the cheese. But tonight, I actually cooked dinner. It's a miracle. I barely cook. But I wanted to try this recipe from all recipes called, and they're not, they're not a sponsor. Nobody's a sponsor of us. Uh, Instapot. It's, I didn't know Instapot. it's linguine with peas, pesto and peas. So here's the result of that. Mmm. So here's one for Phil. Friday night's either usually pasta or it's pizza night. So today's pasta night. But before we eat the pasta, they don't have to watch this eat pasta. Let's try that wine and cheese. All right. Here's your piece of cheese. But it's so funny because the pasta has pesto and our cheese has pesto. So I'm doing this first because I, no, I'm doing the wine first. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I learned my lesson. I, I <laughs> could, because we knew the wine's really good and I didn't know yesterday. It's a rosé. Mm hmm. Smells good. Mm, smooth. I was just about to say, it's smooth. Mm -hmm. I love a smooth wine. It's interesting because it's also sharp, but it's smooth. Oh, why are you not in the picture? Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's been, let's just admit it. I'll just do this for the rest of it. It is TJAF, but it's been a long Friday <laughs> yes. for work. Yep. Okay, I will give cheers to that wine. It's very yep. good. That's good. Now I'll taste my cheese. And now the cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Pesto. Mm. 
I love anything pesto, hence I made the dinner tonight. Now, the Gouda yesterday was a little more firm than this, so. This is nice and creamy. It's a little creamier. Yeah, mm. it's a little bit, oh, the pesto and parsley, mm. very good. Yeah. All right, guys, so that was day three. Nearly three days have gone by yep. already. Wow. I will be trying some of the products I got tonight. Phil, maybe you wanna try that cologne, Phil? I don't usually wear cologne, but. Maybe you wear it for me. <laughs> Maybe, why not? <laughs> Maybe I'll get there. All right, guys. Have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow. It may have cause to celebrate for Baby G.